This is a work of stunning formal beauty and poignancy by Alberto Buri, demonstrating his mastery of his materials. It is one of only 15 Sacque Rosso works and it comes with exceptional provenance, having previously been held in the collection of Cesare Brandi, a Buri scholar and art historian. Buri was a medic during the Second World War and spent time in an American prisoner of war camp. The stitched, torn, burnt and gouged sacco recalls the poetry of the everyday object, which for Buri is redolent of the trauma of the 20th century. Painted in this electrifying shade of green, the entire surface of this infinity net seems to move and shift before our eyes. Up close, you get a real sense of Yayo Kusama's practice, her meticulous repeating patterns of knots and whirls, which expand the entire surface in an infinitely expanding net, which defines her most iconic series. The scale of this work is so intimate and is painted with this highly keyed colour palette so it really draws you in from the other side of the gallery. The subject matter is Evan Dando who is the front man of the 90s grunge band The Lemonheads. It has this icon-like status, luminous quality, it's very calm and serene which is so typical of Peyton's ability to really balance the public performance of celebrity with these very intimate relationships we have with our musical heroes. Hovering between invigoration and abstraction, this extraordinary Cecily Brown takes on the subject of a nude ensemble with extraordinary energy and confidence. Painted in 2012, it belongs to a series which uses the controversial album cover of Jimi Hendrix's Electric Ladyland as its starting point. Here you can see the artist blending art historical references and more contemporary sources. And it's really part of our ongoing interrogation of the male gaze and her own very complex relationship with the female nude. 